In this question, we have a photoelectron spectrometer, which basically means we have a, a sample of a gas. Here, it's a pure gaseous sample of helium atoms. So, for example, in our diagram here, this would be a helium atom shown. And uh, the photoelectron spectrometer sends uh, ultraviolet radiation in this example, so photons, shown in the diagram here, towards those uh, helium atoms, the helium gas. And what happens is the photons get absorbed by the helium atoms and the energy of the photon is used first to remove the electron from the atom and then it's used as kinetic energy, which is movement energy, as that electron then gets ejected. So we have the energy of the photon being used first to remove the electron. That's called the binding energy. So binding energy is the energy used to, uh, it's the energy that holds an, an electron to an atom. So the binding energy is the amount of energy needed to remove the electron from the atom. And then it gets used up in the kinetic energy of that moving electron as it's ejected. So what we can do in our question here is first use the frequency of our radiation provided to figure out the energy of the incoming photon. We then know the kinetic energy of the ejected electron that's provided in the question. So we can use that to figure out what was the binding energy for our electron in our helium atom. So we'll start by having a look at our equation sheet. We're trying to figure out the energy of the photon from its frequency. So looking at our equation sheet here, we have this equation energy of a particle. The energy of a particle is equal to h, which is Planck's constant, multiplied by the frequency nu. So let's write down that equation here. Energy equals h multiplied by nu. So nu, that's our frequency, which was provided in the question here. So we can fill that in to our uh, answer list here. The frequency of the photon was 9.45 times 10 to the power of, and on this website, to write that, we write e to means times 10 to the power of, and then 15. And that was in units of per second. The h, that's Planck's constant. So if we go back to our equation sheet and look for the h, here it is, Planck's constant. which is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. So let's that enter that here. 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule seconds. Okay, wonderful. So we've got our two known variables and one unknown, so we can now use our equation. Our equation already says energy equals, so we have the right form, we just need to put in our numbers. So let's put in our numbers now. Energy equals h, which is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34, multiplied by nu, the frequency, which is 9.45 times 10 to the power of 15. So we're gonna put that in our calculator and that gets us a value for the energy of the photon of 6.27 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules. So we can enter that into our answer box here, 6.27e for times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules. So that's the energy of our photon. Now, what we're trying to find out is the binding energy of our electron. So let's have a look at our equation sheet again here. And we can see our equation here with the binding energy of an electron, which is the energy of a photon is equal to the binding energy of the electron plus the kinetic energy of the electron. So let's write that down. So the energy of the photon is equal to the binding energy 
of the electron that's ejected plus the kinetic energy of the electron that's ejected, which is exactly what we talked about earlier. Our photon comes in with a certain amount of energy and that energy is used first to remove the electron, that's the binding energy, and then secondly to eject it with a speed, that's our kinetic energy. So if we want to find our uh, binding energy, we already know the kinetic energy because it's given in the question here. So let's add that into our answer box. Our kinetic energy was 2.32 times 10 to the power of E negative 18. That's in units of joules. And we know our photon energy because we've already calculated that. So we're trying to find binding energy. Let's first rearrange our equation. So we're going to subtract the kinetic energy of the electron from both sides of this equation. in order to get the binding energy on its own. So the kinetic energy will cancel out on that side. So we'll be left with binding energy of our electron is equal to the energy of our photon minus the kinetic energy of our electron. So we can put in our numbers there now. Energy of our photon we calculated as 6.27 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules, minus the kinetic energy of our electron, which was provided, which was 2.32 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules. So once we calculate that out, we end up with 3.95 times 10 to the power of negative 18 joules for the binding energy of our electron. Let's test that. So 3.95 times 10 to the power of, we write E for that, negative 18 joules. So with the photoelectric effect, we're using the frequency of the photon to figure out the energy of the photon that comes in. And then we know that energy gets used up, firstly removing the electron, that's the binding energy from the atom, then for kinetic energy as the ejected electron is moving very fast. So we can use that to figure out our binding energy of our atom.